Let's look at what happens when you divide each side of an equality by a number. So if you have 6 divided by 3, that's 2, and 12 divided by 3, that's 4, 2 is less than 4. If you have 6 divided by 2, we know that's 3, 12 divided by 2, that's 6, 3 is less than 6. If we divide by 1, we have 6 and 12, 6 is still less than 12. So all these numbers that we're dividing by are positives, and it still stays less than. Now what happens if you divide by these negatives? This is what's going to happen. So 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6. 12 divided by negative 1 is negative 12. Well, all of a sudden, this becomes greater than negative 6 becomes greater. And then if I divide 6 by negative 2, I get negative 3, and 12 by negative 2, I get negative 6. Well, negative 3 is greater. In the last line, I'm going to get negative 2 and negative 4, and negative 2 is greater. So the rule is when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you change the sense of the inequality. So you flip less than to greater than, or less than or equal to greater than or equal to. you got to flip them. Only if you divide by a negative or a positive, or multiply it by a negative or positive. So the first one is I'm still dividing by a positive 7. So I don't flip the inequality sign still going to be n greater than or equal to 6. Second one, b, I'm dividing by a positive 3. I'm dividing by a positive, so I still don't change it. It still is negative 7 is less than m. But letter c, I'm dividing by a negative 9. When I'm dividing by negative 9, this greater than symbol now it changes to less than. This 36 divided by negative 9 is negative 4. In letter D, it's x divided by 4 is less than or 2, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. I don't change the direction because I'm multiplying by a positive, so it's x is less than or equal to 8. E, I need to multiply both sides by negative 3. When I multiply both sides by negative 3, I need to change this less than to a greater than. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. And then F, the last one, I'm multiplying by 8. That's a positive number. So it's negative 40. I don't change the sense of the inequality. Greater than or equal to Z. Okay, a couple more, or a few more, three more. I'm dividing by a positive 4, so I'm going to multiply both sides by a positive 4. It still doesn't change the direction. B, I'm dividing by a negative 5. So this is going to change to greater than or equal to negative 10, negative 2. Okay, now this negative C is actually a negative 1C. So I can write it, write it like this. So to solve for c, you have to divide by a negative 1, which is going to change this greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. C, 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So the rule is, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you have to switch the inequality. So c divided by negative 2 you're going to multiply both sides by negative 2. That means you're going to switch this inequality. But if I had c divided by 2 greater than or equal to negative 6, I would multiply by a positive 2, and I keep it because I'm not multiplying by negative 2. I still keep the inequality the same.